Hello and welcome back to another Car Zone review. In a few short years, Volkswagen has become one of the world's top manufacturers of electric vehicles. Their ID family of electric cars already includes a hatchback, an electric SUV and a very cool people carrier. The Volkswagen ID4 is already their best selling model in Ireland and it's also one of Ireland's favourite electric cars. And this is the follow up, it's the new Volkswagen ID5. It does share a lot with the ID4, but the new ID5 is styled as an SUV coupe with a very stylish sloping roofline. It uses the same battery as the ID4, it's a 77 kilowatt hour battery, and there are single and dual motor versions available, and all give a projected range of around 500 kilometers. Now you will pay a bit more for this ID5 compared to an ID4. It goes on sale price from about 60,000 euro, rising all the way up to 77,000 euro for this top of the range GTX Max version. Of course, there is a lot of competition in this segment as well against other large electric SUVs like the Nissan Ariya, the Skoda Enyaq, the Volvo C40, and the Tesla Model Y. So in this video, we're going to take a look inside and outside the ID5 to see what it has to offer. We're going to check out to see how practical it is and what it's like to drive. Remember, you can find more Volkswagens for sale like this ID5 on carzone.ie, Ireland's trusted motoring marketplace. And before we get into the rest of the review, please click subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So the Volkswagen ID5 looks a lot like the ID4 from the front end, but that's no bad thing. It's a very handsome car. It's been designed with aerodynamics in mind, so it's got a very smooth, sleek look. Some versions get these LED matrix headlights and they really light up the road ahead well at night and they also reduce dazzle. They're connected by this illuminated light bar which I really like that touch. And because this is the sporty GTX model, it gets these sporty air intakes in the sides and also this mesh area in the lower bumper. 19 inch alloy wheels come as standard. These are 20 inch on the GTX model. We also get this GTX badge. There is a black contrast roof flush door handles to improve the aerodynamics of the car and then a body coloured insert here on the lower sills. But it's towards the rear of the car where we really see the beauty of the ID5. Just look at how the roof line tapers and meets the boot lid. It's just really beautiful and it makes this ID5 very unique and exclusive. From the back, I think the ID5 is just gorgeous. It certainly does stand out as something a little bit more exclusive than the ID4 with that tapering off roof line. It's quite sporty and all versions get this boot lid spoiler. We also have this very nice LED rear lights. The GTX models get their own specific lighting signature. There's a light bar that connects to the other side and then a lovely rear diffuser effect in the lower bumper and then GTX spelled proudly across the boot lid. So the ID5 looks good but is it practical? Let's find out. So some versions get a powered tailgate as standard and it opens to reveal 549 litres which is actually about 6 litres more than the ID4. So there's no compromise here to boot space because of that coupe style profile which is really great and it's a good wide opening and we also have some under floor storage. You can put the charging cables in there so that's a really great touch. Like all the other ID cars, the ID5 is built on a dedicated electric vehicle platform, so it means there's been a really efficient use of space inside the vehicle. So it does feel really roomy back here for a mid-size electric SUV. I've got loads of legroom, 
The floor is virtually flat, the width of the car, so that's really useful for the middle seat passenger. They've got some space to put their feet. And in terms of headroom, the ID5 does a great job. It only loses about this much. It's about 1.2 millimeters in terms of headroom compared to the ID4. So there hasn't been much of a compromise there because of that sloping roof line. So taller adults should feel comfortable back here. We also have a rear armrest with two cup holders and there's a hatch here that we can open to the boot. There's also separate ventilation controls for rear seat passengers and two USB-C ports in this version of the car. There's Isofix on the two outer seats and also on the front passenger seat. So all in all, the ID5 makes a great family SUV. Volkswagen has revolutionized their car interiors for this new generation of ID cars. So the whole cabin feels very open, it's very modern in its design, and it's also very minimalist. And for example, we've got quite a small digital driver display here when you compare it to what you might find in cars from other brands, but it shows you all your relevant driver information. And some versions of the car also get a augmented reality head-up display, which is a really nice modern feature to have. There are up to four trim levels to choose from for the ID5 and two for the GTX model. They do come very well equipped. There's lots of technology features like park assist, a rear view camera. There's also adaptive cruise control and this 12 inch touchscreen comes as standard as well. And that uses the latest Volkswagen software generation 3.1. Now there are a few physical buttons to this system and they can be quite vague and unsatisfying to use. For example, we have these scroll touch sensitive buttons for the ventilation. So it's a little bit tedious to use at times, but you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto included as standard. So you can bypass the native system to access your music, maps and phone contacts. The cabin is pretty much identical to the ID4 and generally the cabin quality is good but I think something like a Nissan Aria is a little bit more stylish and more premium feeling but it is generally well appointed and this GTX model gets this blue leatherette with red stitching. We have a GTX badge on the steering wheel and best of all these superb sports seats. There's no button to press start in this car, so it's a bit like a Tesla in that regard. It knows when you're in the cabin and when you're ready to drive. So you just use this little toggle switch behind the steering wheel to select drive and off you go. But my favorite feature of all is the play and pause pedals. The ID5 uses the same battery and underpinnings as the Volkswagen ID4, so it does drive in quite a similar fashion. There are single motor and dual motor versions. The single motor versions come with either 174 horsepower or 204 horsepower. And those versions are rear wheel drive, though this is a family SUV, not a hot hatchback. So a Ford Mustang Mach-E is more fun to drive. In that classic Volkswagen way, it's very smooth to drive, it's very quiet here in the cabin and it's also agile for a large SUV and all the controls are well weighted. It rides very well on these large wheels. The dual motor versions are badged GTX and they are all wheel drive and offer the best performance of the range. So the power output is 299 horsepower and zero to 100 kilometers per hour is just 6.3 seconds. It's got a sport suspension, it's got progressive steering and adaptive chassis control that works with the selectable drive modes to firm up the suspension. But I still think this is an SUV that majors more on comfort than sportiness. The best for range are the single motor versions where the projected range is as high as 532 kilometers 
but even in dual motor versions the projected range is up to 497 kilometers and in my experience it is very efficient for a large SUV and I'm averaging about 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. The Volkswagen ID5 can fast charge up to about 135 kilowatts. So if you can find a high power charging station, you can get to about 80% battery charge in just about 30 minutes. An 11 kilowatt onboard AC charger is also standard for faster AC charging. And typically most buyers will be charging at home from a standard 7 kilowatt wall box. So typically you'll be charging overnight to get a full battery. The Volkswagen ID5 shares much of the same formula that's made the ID4 such a success in Ireland. Now some rivals do feel a little bit more stylish and user-friendly inside compared to the ID5, but just like the ID4, this car has a great range. It's got fast charging, it's got a really spacious interior and Volkswagen's latest technology. Now you will pay more for this ID5 compared to an ID4, but it is a more stylish and exclusive looking vehicle. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, then the ID5 might be the electric SUV for you. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest videos and I'll see you in the next one.